What up, y'all? This is Rail Third Rail Tracks. So a few people asked me how I use machine inside of Studio One. Um, actually, my workflow is not that hard. But first, if you're not seeing your native instruments folders inside of Studio One over here on the right side, you have to add the VST folder in your preferences. So let's start there. Go up top to Studio One, Options, Locations, VST Plugins. The default location on the PC is C Program Files, Native Instruments, VST Plugin 64-bit. Unless you're using 32-bit. Please tell me you're not using 32-bit. Alright. But if you created a custom folder for your Native Instruments VSTs, you have to find that folder, click Add, select the folder, hit Apply, and OK. It's going to scan those, that um, folder with the plugins, and you should see those plugins load up over here on the side all right so after that you just use um you just drag it and drop it like you do any other instrument inside of studio one so let's go to machine all right so once you're in machine and you're creating you know you got your sounds that you create in studio one you got your whatever sound you you create right here on the grid and you got whatever you create and um, you know, cause everything is synced up, so you can create whatever you're doing machine in Studio One. Let's say you're ready to drag your audio out now. The way that I do it, I go to File, Export Audio. I put I keep the scenes on all and the source. I keep on sound. When you do it this way, it's gonna export every individual sound that you have playing the machine out. That way, you can drag it back in. So when you drag it back in, it should line up with your project. If you create your patterns and scenes and everything, you know, is in place, you complete the whole song. Everything should line straight up. So that way you can drag your individual sounds back into Studio One. And you can mix and do whatever you're going to do with it after that. There's another way actually also to export out a machine. And that way is by this icon right here. This icon right here allows you to drag audio files outside a machine. So if I just drag this with my left mouse button and come down into Studio One, this is gonna drag that entire pattern out. That's gonna bounce that whole pattern out of machine into Studio One. So that is similar to if you go into the the export option up here that's similar to if you go here and export the source as a group that would export that whole group out into a two track all right so that's why I say it's unless you're gonna mix inside of machine if you choose to do it that way that's cool but let's say you have five different groups or different sounds in it if you export out that way it's going to export those groups out individually um i think it's much more effective and you have much more control over things if you export the sounds out individually but however you choose to do it is cool but the way that i do it is sound by sound um another thing if you want to see your instruments like right now and this is the way that i do it as well machine is coming out of this one track right here because I'm going to export it out and bring it back in and then I'll do the individual tracks but if you want to see your different instruments play on different tracks as you go you can go to this output tab up here and from machine you can add more tracks to your studio one project so if I want to take this kick right here which is coming out of this you know this one um machine track right here let's say i want to switch that over to track two you'll go to your destinations right here and switch that destination to two if i want that same sound that's selected right here if i want it to come out of let's say channel five i'm going to put it over here it's going to come out there you know so that's another another um another feature that you have where you can create different tracks inside of Studio One from Machine. Um, 
that's pretty much it I you know it's my my workflow is not that difficult um, you know I keep it simple I create what I create and I export it out of machine then I bring it back into studio one and then I'll mix it and tweak it and um, you know then I'll bounce it out of studio one you know that's pretty much it nothing too hard I hope I'm you know hitting some of the the um the questions that y'all had in the comments you know i appreciate your comments i appreciate all the support everybody that subscribed to the channel i appreciate y'all if you haven't already please hit that subscribe um leave a comment hit that like and i'll see y'all on the next one you know what it is peace out third rail tracks hip-hop heat